when you mix cubing with the internet, things can get a little crazy. In today's video, we're going to be um, exploring a couple interesting cubing websites like Ruix and testing our cubing trivia. Alright, so first for our first quiz, I guess <laughs> we have quizzes. We're going to use the Ruix quiz. There are 24 questions and um, they don't measure the time and nothing interrupts the course. Alrighty, so folding puzzle. I know that the Rubik's Magic is a folding puzzle. I've seen videos of it. It's super we weird. Go check it out after this video. Um, I know it was Lucas Eder. I'm pretty sure I saw a video on him doing that on a video of like the history of world records of Rubik's Cubes. Alrighty, so next one, less than one second. I know I've seen that robot before and I know it solves um, less than one second. Wow, 0.637, that's crazy. I didn't know it was that fast though. Skew because I know that none of those are WC events, but I know that Skew is one. 26, I know that. That How many makes up that? Alrighty, um, this huge hand solo, I have no clue. Um, Beyond the Rubik's Cube? Nah, I think it's, that might be that university. Alright, okay, that's nice. It was a guess. I just guessed that. Alright, so good thing I made that change. Um, I have, uh, <laughs> WC. And if you don't know, they, their cube on their logo, the color scheme is actually wrong. That's really weird. I never, I had never seen that before, and then I saw something about that. So, um, I think it was pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Felix Semdegs breaks the world record, because I'm pretty sure I saw a video and I heard somebody say it my sd card some kid all right oh that's really interesting i did not know that i didn't know that was correct i thought i just heard something i i don't know what is the domino cube okay so i've seen a review of it um it's a two by three by three it looks really weird i i don't know how hard it is to solve though oscar van i don't know how to say that name um <sighs> hmm yes okay because i think i saw a video on him Alrighty, so I have no clue how many stickers go on a Terraminx. I barely know what a Terraminx is. Um, I'm just going to guess 732. Alright, okay, that's it. Oh, there's a formula. I didn't know that. Okay, so I'll have to try that if I don't know anything about a puzzle to see how many stickers there are. Next, alrighty. Which is a holy twisty puzzle? Okay, so I know that's a void cube because I've seen a video on the void cube. It's kind of weird. I have no clue. I don't really know. I don't know which movie that's in. Hmm, I'm just going to guess that because it kind of looks like they're in a car wrong okay okay that's bad um what is the rubik's cube mathematically it's a permutation group because um in algorithms it always says like a letter perm like a perm or something so um i know that all of those are shape mods except whatever the future o cube is i have no clue what that is already okay so i know the master morphics all of those so that is um super flip i've seen team man's video on that so I know that it's the M2, E2, S2, because I know that the E and S2 are um, middle moves or slice moves is what they call them, because you're kind of slicing through the middle. And I have no clue which title of that Rubik's Cube video. Okay, I don't know. So that was wrong. Um, I have no clue, fashion inspired, no. Oh, Rubik's Cube. Um, so, Alrighty, so square one algorithm. I know that because I've seen square one algorithms. I've never solved one before. Um, I know it's Hungarian. The um, <laughs> it's stack mat timer. And if you haven't seen my video, I have a way to make your own DIY stack mat timer. So definitely go check that out. Um, 1974. Alright, yes, I do remember that from something. I don't really remember where I found that from. Um, how many steps? Oh, I thought I thought it was 25. I guess it's 20. Because I remember seeing that somewhere, but I thought it was 25 for some reason. Alright, so I got 20 out of 24. Not bad, but also not that good. I guess I'm not that good with this puzzle. Alrighty, so um, now we have another quiz. It's from another website. Um, I don't really know what the website is called, though. Alright, so from I remember, 1979, I think it was. I know it's a 3x3 cube. Um, Pyramid, that's not even a cube, it's pyramid. Alrighty, so which was not the result of Rubik's Cube Mania? I have no clue. Um, I'm just going to say Rubik's Race was marketed. I have no clue. I'm pretty sure it was 28 because I think I remember seeing some video of him solving it. No clue, though. I'm pretty sure it was 28. I know it's 43 quintillion. Quintillion. <laughs> Sorry. Um, combinations of a 5 by 5 Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure no. It might be true. 
Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it's the 7x7, seven seven, or it might be the 17x17. 17 17. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's not the 5x5, five five, though. Over 100 million Rubik's Cubes were sold between 1980 and 1982. I'm going to say false on that. It might also be true. I can't tell. I'm going to say false. I'm pretty sure that's false. Alrighty. Next one. Wait, did I just... Oh, Rubik's... Alright, so... Sorry. I just skipped over that one. Um, What did the Rubik's Cube manufacturer consider in naming it in 1980? I have no clue. Puzzling puzzle. Wonder Cube. Maybe Wonder Cube. I don't know. I have no clue. I have no clue the answer to that question either. We're just going to guess Erno Rubik. Um, oh, man. I thought it was... I forgot. It's 1974, not 1979. Yeah, that was... That's bad. Alrighty, so nine, um, okay, three by three cube, I know that was right. Oh, uh, you can do the cube solutions was written by a 70 year old grandmother. Okay, I did not know that. Oh, it was 22 seconds. Okay. Answer 43 by 20 was right. False. Yes. Okay, I knew that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a seven by seven. I can't remember though. Um, so see here your answer false the correct answer was, oh that was true wow that's very interesting i did not know that that is interesting very interesting the real rubik's cube has a sticker oh i guess so tell it i don't know why i thought that so it was the gordian knot wow that is kind of interesting okay that's really weird um gordian knot huh i thought it would be with a wonder cube rubik's cube Alrighty, Zasa Gabo. I do not know how to pronounce that name. Three out of ten. Wow, that's the next one's kind of interesting. Um, which Rubik's cube are you? So that's pretty interesting. So let's see here. So let's start the test. Well, not a test. My friends would sub subscribe. Sorry, but remember, so do subscribe. Would describe me as funny. I'm gonna say funny. How do you solve a Rubik's? Can you solve it? Yes, I'm a speed cuber. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> Um, how would I greet somebody? Hi, just hi. I don't really say greetings, lovely day, isn't it? That's kind of, I don't really say that. All right, next one. How many different types of Rubik's Cubes do you know? All of the extra layers, such as 4x4 four four or 10x10, ten ten, do not know. Wait, then what? Oh, I guess I only know one, because I only know the um, N by N, I think they call it. Dream job. One with math and engineering is what I would put. Um, which superpower would I prefer? Let's see here, what are there? Um, I think shape shifting because that would be pretty interesting. X ray vision and the other stuff, I don't really know. Where would you want to live? Well, not in the desert, it's kind of very hot out there. Um, just town, not in like a big city, but not also not in the desert or in the Arctic. Um, okay, what else is there? Alrighty, so town, um, what pet? Hmm, not really a dog or a cat, but not an insect, because that might be very easy to kill on accident, or it might escape really easily. So I'm going to go with fish, because, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with fish, because reptile amphibian, that sounds kind of scary. <laughs> it's like a crocodile. Um, so we're going to go with fish, and it is calculating the results. And I am a square one. Oh, uh, okay. That's very weird. <laughs> I don't know why who made that. All right, so now I have to solve a virtual cube. And no, this is not a Bluetooth cube. And those are kind of expensive. Um, this is just a virtual cube simulator, which I guess could be good for, like, if you're just beginning to learn. Actually, no, I take that back. This is super hard to control. Like, if you don't have a cube, I think you should buy a cube instead of using this. this is so hard. So you just push a button in order for it to scramble it. And actually, you didn't scramble it that well, but I'm just going to keep it like that. This is so hard. So we're just going to move the bottom layer two times, and that should give us our cross so that we can start solving the bottom layer or the white. So, yeah, this is so hard to control. I can barely control it right now. Alrighty, so, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Um, Alrighty, so we did that, and now we have one F12 pair, which is really nice. Plus, we have the full cross. That's very nice. Um, now we're going to move on to F12. And this took me so long. <laughs> this took me probably like, I could have solved at least five cubes in the time that it took me to, no, not even five, about, I don't know, like a lot of, I could, I could have solved quite a few cubes while I was doing this F12. This took me so long. Um, and I wish they give you a full screen option because it's kind of distracting with all of those things on the side and I can't really see the cube. 
anyways, it was kind of, it was pretty hard. Um, and I had to speed this up, this clip you're seeing, around, I think, 500 times its original speed just to make it be, like, shorter. This is not that short of a clip. I'm sure it could have solved the cube already. Um, and now we have the first two layers done, which is really nice. So now I'm just going to rotate it, see what we have. Now I have to solve the yellow um, side, just this side on the top, so that, um, yeah. And again, I really wish they could have put in, put, sorry, put in, put a um, full screen mode. This took me so long. This actually took me longer than the F2L. Um, I'm pretty sure I just speed this up about a thousand times its original speed in order for it to be good. All right, so um, we're just finishing that up, and now we're gonna move on to PLL. We're just finishing that layer right in between, and this took me so long. I'm not even kidding. This was very long. I had to speed this up about 3,000 times because I messed up the top layer OLL about a lot of times. So that was very hard. So if you want to, um, make, if you want to help me know that I did not waste 40 minutes of my time trying to solve this cube, remember please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at the Ruby Cube Official, and until next time, I'll catch you later.